All right, let's get started, everyone. Let's have a fun time here. We're going to draw a beautiful shorebird here. We're actually um, going to just talk about quickly, sometimes if you'll notice when you're going to do some subject matter, you're going to draw, you know, maybe with a pencil or you're going to do a pen drawing. We're always uh, working on our drawing skills, of course, as a watercolor artist. Um, this here, th this is my approach, and I think you'll be able to use some of this um, information to help you to render your subject matter a little better. So. Shorebird, this shorebird here is on a stand, a wooden stand, and it's a wood carving, of course. And the thing I would say here is, um, if you find that a lot of these curves within the, the form of the bird are a little bit challenging, maybe a little difficult, a way you can actually um, sort of see this in a more simplistic form first before you start drawing it, you can even use some lines uh, first, some like guidelines, um, before you start drawing this to help you to, to render this a little more accurately than just trying to start it and um, draw it from scratch without kind of pre-planning something. So this would be a little bit of a pre-planned idea of drawing this shorebird. So the first thing I would say is this does look, this shorebird does look like it has a triangular shape where the body is. So this body does look similar, you know, to the triangle. So if we want to, we can say, well, it is sort of like a triangle, but it, it's... Uh, it might be more like a right angle, like this. Like maybe we could draw this and say, all right, let's try this. Let's draw a right angle first for the body. So like here's the tail. And I'll use a Sharpie marker so you can see this really clearly. This Sharpie marker is a little bit uh, running out of ink. Let me see if I can find another one here. And do I have another Sharpie marker? Uh, where do I see another Sharpie marker around? Here's another one. It's okay. This will work. Okay. So this like this, and then we could even say like, let's make a right angle, like a square like this, a right angle like this, and then an angle this way. So you can kind of see that that sort of is a basic idea of what we're looking at here for the body of the bird. And then up here, We could maybe draw another little line here up above this and say, okay, this line here kind of follows up along the front of the, the chest of the bird here, and then it runs up straight. And then we could say that the, the head of the bird kind of goes in front like this in a round shape like that, like this. And then body goes like this. There's a little bit of a... So you can kind of see how you can start out with a right angle, like a square, and then an angle like this, and then you go up a little bit here for where the head is, because you can kind of see this is kind of like the triangle. Similar to a triangle, but only, let's say it's really a half of a triangle. A true tri triangle would be something like this. So it's really like one half of a triangle. So we would kind of say it's one, one half of a triangle, like that. And then we put that little bit of the line there so we kind of have the front of where the head and the beak is, like so. Like that. And a little bit of the curve to the back. And there's the chest. And then we have the bottom, the base. So I think if you use this method of just drawing a half of a triangle, and let's work on this, let's do it. But this is kind of like, I wanted you to see this first in good dark Sharpie uh, marker, so you can kind of see really clearly what I'm doing here. And then after a while, if you did, if you worked on this and you did maybe like 20 or 30 of these drawings of this shorebird, then eventually you might not have to draw a triangle, or a half of a triangle, let's say, like this. You might just be able to kind of feel it out and say, okay, there's the head and the chest, like this. So after a while you might get used to drawing a certain, any subject matter, it doesn't necessarily have to be the shorebird we're doing here, but 
I guess what I'm saying is this can help you in the beginning if you want to render any kind of, well, you know, shorebird, a seagull, any kind of bird you love to draw. I really enjoy birds. I have lots of sea, I have seagulls. I have wood carvings of uh, shorebirds. I have a lot of wood carvings of shore, shorebirds. I have duck decoys. So let's try it on this paper here with pencil or ink. Maybe we'll try some pencil first and then we'll go over with ink. So the first thing I'll do is I'll, I'll take my office pencil here and then we'll do the same idea. Let's, let's get a triangle here. Half of a triangle, I should say. Basically, we're starting out with a right angle here. Like that. And then we remember we're going to go up a little bit here where the head is of the bird. And then we have the... Once we get the body drawn in, and the head, then we'll do the... Um, the uh, post and the base for the carving. Okay, so I'm going to start out with the head. Like this is a preliminary sketch, we would call this. And you can always write down notes too, so that we kind of keep these terms. This is an important term. Let's call this a pre preliminary sketch. Very lightly. We, we do some pencil lines. We get our half of a triangle in here, like that. Then we do the head of the bird here. Do the back of the bird like that. Then we do the, the breast of the bird here, and we go over here like so. And then maybe we might say, let's use a little bit of an eraser here. Maybe we made the body too long. You can always adjust. When you're doing a very light sketch, you can always adjust. So we're just going to do... That might be a little better like that. And then here, I look here and say, how far over, how far over is that post? It's about a head, head length, so about a head length here. So you can say that's about a head length here, the top of the pencil, go over one more head length, and that's about the post here. And you can always, again, make adjustments if you have to. And that's the base. And you can just simplify the base. We don't have to get all into details there. Let's just make a square base like this, a rectangular base. Like that. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Let's just uh, complete the final details. We'll put the eye here. And then we're going to put the beak here. And I think that's good. Now, We'll take a quick break, we'll come back and we'll do a pen drawing over the top of our preliminary sketch. But I just wanted you to see how you can actually do your drawings in, in steps. So the first step would be we get a little familiar with using a half of a triangle here, a half of a triangle here, right, for the shorebird body. And then we remember that we, after we do the half of a triangle, we just go up with a little bit of a pencil line, a little bit above that level line here. So we have our reference point for the head of the bird, and we got that incorrectly. And you can kind of see the final result. And then we just did the same thing now here with light pencil lines. We did the light pencil line of a half of a triangle here. Then we kind of sketched in our bird form and shapes and our uh, pedestal and our post for our wood carving shorebird. Now what we'll do is we'll take a break and we'll come back and we'll just do this finally in some pen drawing and maybe we even use some shading. We'll do some shading on this as well. And we'll have a complete beautiful rendering of a gorgeous shorebird here. We had a we'll have lots of fun with this. We're not quite finished here. Let's um, come back again for one more five or ten minute um, 
uh, section of this video where we can kind of cover the rest of this with some pen over the top of this, some pen drawing over our preliminary sketch. And then a little bit of shading maybe we'll do with a uh, China marker. So we have lots of interesting, fun tools here when we're drawing. We have pencils, pens. We have Sharpie markers. So I'm using an office pen. And then we have a Sharpie marker. So we have plenty of interesting tools to work with as we're working through this composition and getting our beautiful shorebird completed, okay? So let's do this, and when we come back, we'll again, we'll do a pen drawing over the top with some Sharpie shading, and we'll maybe use a, let's take a look and see what we have for our pens. Maybe we'll use our um, Uniball Vision Elite Fine Point Pen, which is an office pen, basically. And uh, these are really great pens beautiful lines, black ink. Okay, so we'll be right back and we'll finish up this gorgeous scene. Okay, bye-bye. All right, so we are back and we're gonna finish up our drawing. I think we're gonna stick with these two drawing tools here. We're gonna have a Uniball Vision Elite pen and a um, China marker made by Fano. And we should have a fun time of this now because we've done all of our work. We've done all, most of, mostly all of our work is now complete. Now we're just going to basically use our pen drawing and we'll do a contour drawing over the top. So now I'll put on here, we're going to, now we're going to do our contour drawing. And our contour drawing is the fun part of our drawing and it's actually um, fun because you've already got all of your work completed. You've done some um, layout, you, you've used a little bit of the half of, the, you know, used, you've, half, you've used half of a triangle here. You've gotten in your basic shape of your shorebird, the head, the beak, the eye, the body. Um, now, that's why I say the contour drawing is fun because you have mostly all of your work done and now all you're going to do is go in and really just kind of use the under drawing that you've done, the preliminary sketch, to just basically use as a guide as you draw your bird a second time with ink. Or you could go over it with a darker pencil line if you want. This is if, you know, you're doing a watercolor painting. You would maybe would do this light sketch first and then you'd go over with a darker pencil line over the top. And uh, I just wanted to look for an eraser. Maybe I'll just use the office pen eraser. I don't see another one here. So what I'll do is I'll use my office pen eraser. Even though it makes some crumbs, I'd rather use a kneaded eraser. And there is one somewhere here, but I don't see it offhand, so I won't worry. So I'll erase those. Some of these lines here. But I think that's good. Okay, now we're going to start out. You can start out anywhere you like with your contour drawing. Maybe I'll start out here and just kind of go up and I'm just going to go around. And I'll do this. I'll do the beak here. I'm going to come up and around. And up and over. Make a little bit of a curve over here by the top of the body of the bird. And then some feathers here like this and then we'll do another line down here for the post for our wood shorebird carving and then we'll just do our base there like that just a simple base we're not really we're doing this as a fun um, uh, composition kind of running through the different processes and methods that you're going to use to do your drawings and then eventually you're going to do the same process. If you learn these processes over and over again on just drawings like this on some printer paper, then when you go onto your watercolor paper and you want to draw, uh, you know, before you're going to paint, uh, let's say, a watercolor painting, and you're going to get some watercolor paper and put in some, you know, make a creative, a, a full painting, you're going to use the same method when you go through your painting. You might be copying another person's painting from an art book. You might be copying one of my paintings from one of our tutorials here, whatever it is. You'll just remember that you're going to use this same process. You know, you're, you know, first a little bit of layout. Try to, you know, if things aren't too difficult. You don't have to necessarily use triangles or circles or 
squares or different things like that. If you can get the drawing done without having to use those things, that's fine. But if you have something like this where it's a little more challenging, a bird shape, the shape of a bird is a little more challenging. It's more difficult. You know, that's why we try to start using some preliminary sketching to kind of work it out first so that we kind of have a guide of what we're going to actually be using as far as shapes go. And then we'll do the eye here. And I think we're good. I think we have, that's it, perfectly fun drawing to do. And then we'll use a little bit of shading. So maybe we'll do a little bit of the wing here. with some China marker. We'll do a little bit of the wing there, like that. And then we can do some shading here. So you can shade in your shorebird if you like. You can use any you can use you can use any type of shapes and shading techniques you like to do. You might find okay. So here it looks like the the shape of the white underside of the bird is like this. So we'll leave that light. We'll leave that the white of the paper. This is a little darker. The brown brown coloring of this bird is a little darker than the there's like a little bit of a grayish wing here so this bird has a little bit of a gray wing and then the darker brown is the main color of the bird that's a little darker so we can go with a little bit of a darker shading here the eye is quite dark I'm gonna go with a dark and the beak is quite dark too so let's go with a dark beak like that. This, again, the, the feathers on this bird are darker over here. They get a little lighter where the wing is. And then it has a white underside. The feathers are white underneath here with a little bit of shadowing. And then our pedestal for our Shorebird is dark too, dark wood tone. So I hope you had a great time doing this shorebird with me. And we've kind of, we're doing a shorebird, we're having fun just with that itself. It's such an exciting thing to create a bird like this in a drawing. And as well, we're also covering our preliminary sketching, our contour drawing, and the very first thing we did is, since we realized this is not such a simple thing to draw, we used some preliminary um, techniques using basic shapes like triangles. This is kind of like a circle, so you could actually draw a triangle, half of a triangle here. That might be the full triangle here. This is the half of the triangle there on the bottom of the bird, the bo basic body shape of the bird. Then we had a small plumb line that we ran up from this angle here, where the right angle is. So that's the right angle here. We pulled up a line from there for the head, and then we said, well, there's a round, you could even say this is a sphere, or a round, a circle up on top. That gives us the head of the bird. Beak comes off there. And then we have the pedestal here. So you can create all these beautiful drawings, any drawing that you might want to do and sketch. Just uh, take your time, think about it. If it looks like a really tough thing to draw where you say, oh, I don't know if I can capture that shape or whatever, start, you know, you can just break it down into simpler shapes and say, well, does that look sort of like a, a square? Does it look like a rectangle? Does it look like a, a triangle? Maybe it looks like half a triangle like that. Maybe we don't, we don't necessarily need the second half of the triangle. We just need the bottom part of the triangle like this here. 
So you can always use these techniques to try to better uh, set up yourself to go in and get a, a really good drawing of something uh, versus just trying to go in and draw it and not have any um, basic uh, plan going in. This is just like a basic plan for going in and getting a drawing done where you might have something that might be a little challenging. Birds are a little challenging. I know when I first started drawing birds, I had to use these techniques after a while because I was trying to just draw it freehand first. Then I realized, let me slow down just a second and kind of work out a few shapes and things and figure out if I can maybe see some basic shapes within the bird itself that can maybe give me a uh, like a blueprint underneath it that I can work from and then work some other curves and lines off of that basic shape. And that's all we did is we took the half a triangle, added some basic curves and a few other things here. We trimmed off a little bit of this here. We didn't really need that so much once we got the um, basic shape of the, the body of the bird. So I'm hoping you'll have fun doing this, trying this exercise at home, in your studio, wherever you like to do your artwork, your kitchen, your living room, on your stack tray. Uh, maybe you like to work uh, uh, outdoors, um, in your backyard, maybe at the park you like to draw. So wherever you like to draw and sketch and do your drawings and your paintings, have fun with it. Try these some, some of these techniques we're using to um, get your uh, drawing time in, 10, 15 minutes every day. No matter what it is you're drawing, 10 or 15 minutes every day and you're really gonna improve on your drawing. So let's all get better with our drawings and uh, keep working on it and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks everybody and I always mention, uh, please uh, subscribe on the right hand side below. There's a little subscribe button there if you hit subscribe. That'll just basically notify you when I'm creating another new video after this one here. You'll see um, in the future, my videos, will, YouTube will just send my videos to your uh, YouTube channel. When you open up YouTube, you'll just see that I've made a new video um, in the future. So you don't lose me. You'll keep being able to follow me uh, week after week, month after month, and year after year. So we're here for you every week, every month, and year after year doing drawing and painting and watercolor. And that's really the exciting part of my channel is I cover everything watercolor, no matter if it's birds, seascapes, boats, buildings, houses, cityscapes. We also do figure drawing, portraits, um, you name it, we do it here, everything watercolor. So keep coming back. We're having tons of fun here. And if you're a beginner, you're at the perfect place. All these type of things here are really simple. If you're a beginner, you can follow along with this. I haven't done anything here that's too challenging. So remember, if you're just starting out, keep coming back every week and just working along with my videos and you'll absolutely improve and you'll get better and better each week and each month as we go. And eventually you'll be creating paintings, really uh, beautiful paintings and effortlessly too, because you'll have learned all the fundamental basics you need. Okay. All right. So we'll see you on the next video.